So I've been teasing you guys a little bit on Instagram and Snapchat that I got a new car and I'm sure as you can tell by the title, I bought Frank's old 240. If you haven't seen it, it's this car. It's a roller right now. It has no engine and the front end is a little messed up. First thing I'm gonna explain kind of the whole background of this car and kind of why he got his new car and everything. A lot of you guys were talking a lot of crap in the, in the comments and I'd like to clear some things up. So the plan all along for Frank was to eventually at some point get a cleaner shell and swap everything into it. And uh, one night we were out and he was messing around a little bit, ended up hitting a curb and so so it kind of just made all of this happen a little bit quicker. So that's why he actually got rid of this shell. Um, so he planned to keep his 1J. He really liked that motor and everything and he just finally got it all working and everything. So obviously kind of a sad thing. So now he's doing his plan of swapping shells a little bit sooner than he had planned. But then a little bit of time passed and he found the S15 with the 5.3 in it and he figured that for what he bought that car for, he could sell his swap and put a little bit of money on top of it and have that entire car, which is a little bit cleaner chassis and of course it has V8 in it so a little bit different I don't know all the thinking behind everything I just know that you know you guys kind of were saying that he was throwing this chassis away which he kind of was but he pretty much already had a buyer which was me for the chassis and he had a buyer for the motor and so everything kind of just worked out so now obviously I didn't pay very much for this it was kind of a, a pretty decent deal so I figured I might as well just throw some cash on it and I'll have a winter project and that's exactly what I want this to be this project will probably take a little bit longer than most uh, in that I'm not really in too much of a hurry to get anything done especially since I have plenty of work to do on the other cars so I pretty much just bought the shell off of them he is taking some of the stuff like his bumper which is okay because I don't really plan to do as aggressive of arrow uh, I did buy those tail lights off of them the wheels and coils are gonna be going but that's okay I don't really like these wheels and the coils probably aren't gonna be exactly for what I wanted to use this car for um, I'm pretty sure he's taking the Hydro, which isn't a problem. I don't plan to drift this car. It's probably just gonna be a street car. Later in this video, you'll see, I'm gonna clean this whole car out. I'm gonna pull this Astro Turf and some of the stuff. I plan to make this car stripped, but kind of clean. I'm probably gonna paint it white or something. And then I don't know if I'm gonna keep this teal color, but at some point, even if I did wanna keep it this color, it would still have to be repainted. I don't know if you guys remember, or have seen the video, but. <clears throat> He's got some nice tubs in here, but it's too bad. They're going to be cut out. Uh, he's got a new subframe in the back of the car, and then he also has these new, uh, I don't know what these are called, right here by my foot. He's got a new one for that side so now, since that one's all bent. The whole reason for him totaling this car is because the front of the chassis is kind of twisted and there's some, some issues with it. So we're just going to end up tube framing the whole front of it. And he said that he's got a buddy of his that's going to help me actually do it. Anyways, I don't really have a plan for this car. I have no real direction. Uh, and even if I did, it wouldn't be happening for quite a while. Like I said, I still got the vet and the Cressida to do. And even the Camborghini hasn't been worked on for a while. But there are a few parts that I do need that I think that I could use your guys' help finding. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and in the description list every single part that I need for this car and if you guys have one of those parts or multiple of those parts go ahead and DM me on Instagram anyways I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling all the stuff out of this interior and get it cleaned up Now that seat's out, I'm going to start taking all this garbage out. I mean, not that it's garbage, but all this stuff out. Uh, maybe Frank still wants it. First thing I want to do is get this uh, Astro Turf out of here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, and I also want to get rid of this sound detonating, and we'll probably end up doing some kind of uh, bed liner and then spray painting it all.
Well, now the interior is all cleaned out for the most part. Obviously, there's still some of that uh, Astro's turf stuff that's sticking on there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take off the sound deadening or not uh, because I do plan to put uh, that bed liner in here. And if I get that stuff that rolls on, it's really thick and it almost would, you know, make that look fine how it is uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna take the time to peel all that up or whatever so i might just do that but like i said i'm not gonna be working on this thing for a little bit uh at least i don't think so so this thing's pretty much just gonna be sitting for probably a couple months not really doing too much uh, i just kind of wanted to get it cleaned out and make sure that uh frank gets the rest of the stuff that he had in this car so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this passenger seat back in there uh the rest of this uh subframe and some of the other miscellaneous parts that came with the car back in the trunk and uh that's gonna be it for this car Well, anyways, guys, nothing too crazy exciting, and it's a huge project, I know. But like I said, not going to be working on that for a few months. Um, anyways, uh, before I finish out this video, I want to give you a little bit of an update on the Corvette. Uh, you probably can notice it's a little bit higher than usual. Uh, I have the spares on the back with the new tires on them. This is just so that the place that I go to to get the exhaust done, I can actually get it on their rack and it'll just make everything easier. And I got the spares on there just because it, it adds less things that they could actually mess up while they're doing the exhaust work. And I don't know, it's just another uh, precaution I'm taking. I'll probably get the exhaust done later next week and uh, that way we can actually start putting the rest of the arrow on and we can get the side skirts and lip painted and throw those back on and and get the ride height set to where i'm able to you know go to shows and have it look good but i'm also able to drift it because the height that i was at it wasn't very even it was fine low wise in the front it's just the rear was like a little bit higher than the front i don't know i just didn't really like the way it looked but anyways guys i'm gonna stop rambling now hope you guys are excited for the new project hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out Oh, 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 oh,